Hi guys, welcome to a new episode of Shoe String Travel. In this episode, I am going to travel to a place called Agra, which is the home of Taj Mahal, and to also other monuments in Agra. I'll be also trying out some street foods over there. So let's check how beautiful is Agra. The moment you come out of the station, there are like so many auto rickshaw drivers coming to you and asking you if, they, if you want an auto rickshaw. This is crazy. So I'm finally out of the uh, Agra Khan railway station and will be headed to Taj Mahal now. Let's see if I can find a sharing auto rickshaw. Pretty chilled out here. Wearing this half sleeves t shirt, got an auto rickshaw, a sharing. You will leave me halfway. From there, I'll be taking another ring. So, I've got down at a stop called Mandi uh, Bijli Ghar for uh, rupees 15. I had got another auto now. So I have reached to Taj Mahal gate now and uh, we are walking in this path. It's freaking freezing right now. And I reached here uh, by changing two autos for just a they have given a cover for your shoes cover which we need to wear while uh, going into Taj Mahal. So, um, finally inside the Taj Mahal after the security check and all I had booked the ticket online at 6 10 a.m. in the morning. Freaking cold it is. Oh, this 
the video shooting is allowed only till here. Early in the morning, and I was the fourth in the queue, and got the entry at 6 a.m. I had to wait like 15 or 20 minutes. I had booked the ticket online for rupees 45, and here I am. What a morning! So the Taj Museum is on that side, which we'll be visiting later. For now, let's enjoy this view. that I have taken is just for 3 hours from so I come uh, at 6 so I have to leave by 9 am so within 3 hours I have to spend my time this beautiful Taj Mahal wow, this is so incredible so I am wearing this covers for the shoes which we need to wear when we go inside Taj Mahal. As it's not at all crowded over here. On the left side or maybe on the right side of the Taj as well. Inside this mosque. There are so many people over there standing. So I had a nice photo session from inside this mosque. Now let's go inside the Taj Mahal and see what is there inside the Taj Mahal. very quickly so if you want a very less crowd when you come if you want to take pictures with very less crowd and make sure that you come very early in the morning so it was a nice visit in Taj Mahal if you come to the Agra do visit it it's just 50 rupees for the entry ticket for Indians and for foreigners it's more so I'm done with visiting Taj Mahal, I'm going back. <coughs> it's not planned where I'm going next. Let's see. So guys, if you don't want a crowd like this, do visit Taj Mahal early in the morning. Or else you have to face so much of crowd. The Red Fort now. The Red Fort which is also known as Agra Fort or the Red Fort of Agra. So the entry ticket is rupees 40 for this fort. than the one which is there in Delhi. It's made completely of sandstone. Look at this architecture is so beautiful. Perfectly aligned. Each of the pillars are aligned perfectly. Inside the red foot of Agra, pigeons enjoying the water. So 
दिस इज़ अ मच विजिट प्लेस इन आगरा इट इज रियली वेरी पिक्चर इज फोर्ट इंटीरियर्स ऑफ द फोर्ट आर सो ब्यूटिफुल लाइक इज कम्प्लीटली मेड ऑफ सैंड स्टोन एज यू कैन सी एंड ईच ऑफ द हॉल्स आर सो परफेक्टली काउड एज यू शू कम टू आगरा डू विजिट दिस फोर्ट Taj Mahal can be seen from here, but as there is too much of mist and fog, it's not clearly visible. I'm done with the red fort now, and I have come here to eat bail puri. Jama Masjid, which is in Kinnery Bazar in Agra, and here is the masjid. So I have taken a cycle rickshaw, who has charged me rupees thirty to reach from Red Fort to Jama Masjid. It's a huge mosque or masjid. What looks like the Jama Masjid of Delhi. Even this is made up of sandstone, just like the Agra Fort. The marbles on the walls and the scripts written in Arabic. Not sure Arabic or Urdu. It looks very nice. Very peaceful here. completely silent not much noise breeze very peaceful and so beautiful now i will be going to a place which is akbar's tomb or akbar ka maqbara uh, which is 10 kilometers away from agra so i need to change to auto rickshaws place called sikandra where this akbar's tomb is there as you can see on that side i got the ticket and i'm going inside so here is the akbar's tomb this is huge there is a passage over here for water but it's dry currently there are so many deers on the garden on this side also and we need to go on that side i think the tomb is over there i think the shoes are there Right, this wall art. This is so beautiful and so colorful. It's just amazing. It was the tomb of Akbar inside here, but I didn't feel like shooting video over there, so I didn't shoot anything. It was worth visiting here by uh, traveling for one hour, changing. auto rickshaw from one place to another so it's overall a very nice place and interior inside this tomb is superb and so you know, i've seen such interiors in very few places agra city this is around like uh, 10 kilometers i spent only 30 rupees to reach here uh, there is a place in between called bodla so you can take an auto from uh, agra city 
to Bordla, which will cost you 20 rupees. And from Bordla to Sikandra, which is this, Sikandra is this place, it will cost you 10 rupees in a sharing auto rickshaw. So it costs just 30 rupees one way. So Agra is the last place that I'm visiting in this trip or in this series. And uh, after Agra, I have a train at 12:30 uh, a.m. tonight and I'll be going back to Mumbai and this trip is going to end uh, so if if I think like uh, should I come to solo trip again then definitely yes because in solo trip you don't have to wait for anyone you can go anywhere you want you can see how many pictures you want and you can plan the itinerary according to your needs so, kind of freedom uh, during solo trips so I'll definitely do a solo trip in the future also if I get a chance this wasn't actually a solo trip I had a friend coming with me but uh, then because due to some reasons he wasn't able to come at the last minute so I had to cancel his tickets and, but as I had already booked so many tickets for train traveling and all so I didn't give up and I came finally this happened successfully this trip was a memorable trip and I went to so many nice places I traveled for 10 days I went to 6 places and I stayed for more than one day at uh, two places other places I travelled for just for one day the full day I did the sightseeing I went to places and then again I travelled back overnight and I reached to some other place so that's how this trip went people normally say that you shouldn't go on solo trip you're going alone what about your safety what about new people that you meet you never know how those people are it's not like that you, India is actually very safe if you go to any place people are very helpful I didn't feel cheated at any of these places I went people were always helpful whenever I asked them to any ways to go to some place they were always helpful they always showed me they always showed me the right path so they always showed me the path to the places and it was helpful everyone was friendly as well and I've reached here now so I've uh, reached to this place called Mehtab Bagh which is a garden and there is a nice view of Taj Mahal from here there is a beautiful sunset and here is a beautiful Taj Mahal This is called as Agare Ka Petha 
which is very popular sweet in Agra. So I am taking this back to Mumbai. So this is the end of this episode and the end of this travel series. If you have watched every episode and made up till here, then thank you guys for watching each of the episodes. And even if you haven't watched the other episodes, then go and watch it right now and do enjoy it. It was a fun and adventurous trip and uh, doing it on a budget made it more adventurous. So guys, see you in the next travel series. Bye!